In this video, we're going to look at Pareto charts. The Pareto principle states that 80% of effects come from 20% of causes. So for example, 80% of sales come from 20% of clients. It's just a rule of thumb. The rule is named after the Italian economist Vilfredo Pareto, who wrote that 80% of the land in Italy was owned by 20% of its people. A Pareto chart contains columns sorted in descending order, together with a line displaying the cumulative total. Pareto charts are, are good at showing the most common factors, whether that be the most common types of defects, your most profitable products, or, as in our example, sources that deliver the most web traffic. So let's look at our first Pareto chart example. My data source shows the number of hits a given website has received from various traffic sources, organic search, direct hits, referrals from other websites, referrals from social media sites, and paid search. Let's get started. Click somewhere in the data, go up to the Insert tab on your ribbon, go over to the Statistics Chart button, and then choose the second chart type in the menu. Just making the chart slightly bigger for you. Now you can see that the Pareto chart organises values in descending order. This is not the order in which they're shown within the original data source. I can then see which are the most common factors. So for example, organic search makes up the majority of the traffic sources for my, for my website. As well as showing columns, the Pareto chart shows a line which shows cumulative totals. This is mapped against a secondary axis, which shows its values as percentages. In our second example, we're going to use this data, which basically logs revenue uh, by branch, product group and customer type. Our first Pareto chart is going to show us which branch is the most profitable branch. Now you'll notice that we have lots and lots of entries for each branch in this table. So what the Pareto chart will do is group together and create aggregate values for each of these branches. Let's start by selecting the data. So I'm going to click into B1 and use the shortcut key, Control shift down arrow key to select to the edge of the data region or the last uh, consecutive value in that column. I'm then going to hold down Control and click in E1 which is my revenue, top of my revenue column, control shift down arrow key to select to the bottom of that column. I'm then ready to create my Pareto chart. So I'm going to go to the insert tab on my ribbon. I'm going to go over to the statistics button and I'm going to select the Pareto chart. So you can see what's happened is it's created aggregate totals for each of these branches. And I can very clearly see from here that London and York are the most profitable branches. And I also have a little line here that gives me cumulative totals mapped against this secondary axis. So I might also want to use a Pareto chart to examine the data set so that it showed me the most profitable product groups rather than the most profitable branches. To do this, I'm going to use this existing chart, but edit the data that the chart points towards. To do that, I go up to the Design tab on my ribbon, making sure that I've got my chart selected. I then go up to Select Data, and what I need to do is edit Horizontal Category Axis Label. So I click on this Edit button, and at the moment you can see it's pointing at Column B. I want to point at Column C, so what I'm going to do is click into C2, and use the shortcut key, Control shift down arrow key to select to the bottom of the column. Click on OK, click on OK. Now if I just scroll up, you can see that the chart now displays uh, product groups. And I can see that DIY and toys and children are the most profitable product groups. So now you've seen how to create a Pareto chart in Excel 2016, have a think about data sources that might be appropriate for such a chart 
and have a go at creating one yourself.